to SNP leader Stephen Flynn. Yeah. 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 Mr. Speaker, yesterday the yesterday the Prime Minister said that EU single market access was special, exciting, and attractive. Uh-huh. If that's the case, why is he denying it to the rest of us? Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, it's Mr. Speaker, it's disappointing that the honourable it's disappointing the honourable gentleman is seeking to play politics with the situation in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, as he well knows, has a unique place in the United Kingdom, and what we are trying to do is restore the balance inherent in the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, and he would do well to acknowledge that. Stephen Flynn. Mr Speaker, let's be clear. What the Prime Minister said yesterday was that EU single market access will be a good thing for business. Now, of course, that's in contrast to the leader of the Labour Party, who said in December the EU single market access would not boost economic growth. Does it hurt the Prime Minister to know that the Labour Party believe in Brexit more than he does? Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, with regard to Northern Ireland, the important thing to note is to avoid a land border on the island of Ireland between North and South. That is what is crucial to achieve in getting the right framework for the arrangements in Northern Ireland and the businesses there that trade across that border on a daily basis with complex supply chains need and value that access. That is something that the Windsor framework has sought to achieve and I believe delivers it. It's not, it's not about the macro issue of membership of the European Union. It's about getting the right mechanisms in place to support businesses and communities in Northern Ireland. And I would say to the honourable gentleman, he knows better than that. He knows that this is about Northern Ireland, and I hope that he can support what we've agreed. Virginia Crosby. 